How's it going, folks? Mark from Like Minded Lunatics coming at you with your Friday night reaction video, Black Friday edition. How about that, folks? I hope you're doing well. I hope you've had a great Thanksgiving. And uh, in the interest of full transparency, let me just go ahead and tell you, uh, I'm not recording this on Friday. I am unplugging on Black Friday. It is the for my money, it's one of the worst made-up holidays of all time. I can't stand it, so I'm gonna unplug. And I think uh, as I'm as I'm talking to you now, I think I'm gonna be watching Ghostbusters. I think that's what I'm gonna be doing. I'm not entirely sure. Uh, I'm past Mark right now. I don't know what future Mark is doing. Let's hope he's doing something fun and uh, you know, and uh, having a good day. Um, so today, to celebrate celebrate Black Friday, we're gonna take a look at Kenny Wayne Shepherd's Blue on Black. Came out in 1997, 98. Is that right? Yeah, off the uh, Trouble Is album, um, and I really love this song, and the reason I thought I would do it today is number one, uh, Blue on Black, it's got black in the title, but number two, I don't remember this video. Uh, I have this song on my workout playlist, and the video popped up instead of the actual song, and I was like, I don't remember this video at all, despite the fact that I love this song. It's one of my favorite songs from that uh, that late 90s era, so I thought we would take a look at it. Hopefully you took a look at our Monday music matchup. I took a look at Blackened by Metallica, the 98, or sorry, the 89 live version, and I paired it up against the 2020 acoustic version. So take a look at that right there really great matchup I had fun doing it and uh, let's pull up the frame folks and get to uh, get to get to listening to Kenny Wayne Shepherd now uh, you know it's a tradition around here to have a beer with our Friday night reaction video I'm gonna go with a shiner Oktoberfest it's got those nice fall flavors and Mars and beer now you don't have to have a beer yourself if you don't want to if you're not uh, doing alcohol stuff like that but let's get something in our system so we can cheers to the end of the week and hopefully the beginning of a great weekend uh, I'm gonna be honest though I don't I don't think Future Mark's having a good time. Black Friday stinks. So cheers, everybody. I hope you had a good Thanksgiving, at least. Oh, boy. Those are fall flavors, folks. Fall flavors. If you have Shiner in your town, hunt that one down. All right, here we go. Kenny Wade and Shepard, Blue on Black from 1998. Uh, Trouble Is album. Do it, Kenny. Hold up, who was that in the, so, uh, that's Noah, right? That's his singer, Noah. Who was the, who was the guy that looked like a, looked like an Eminem fella? There he is. No, that's just a 90s look. That's just a 90s look. I had that hair. I think I've showed it on here before. Maybe I'll throw it up over here. I had that hair for a while in the 90s. Not a good look. You know, one of the things that I remembered, I'm just now remembering about Kenny. Kenny, uh, is that he had that boy, he had that bored straight hair back then, didn't he? Man, you know, we saw him in 2014 here at ACL. There was a tribute to Jimmy, uh, Jimi Hendrix. Buddy Guy was there and Zach Wilde was there and Kenny was there and he doesn't have that anymore. He doesn't have that long hair. I kind of miss it. Kind of missing it. Honestly, I'm confused about what's happening in this video. Uh, I'm gonna be honest with you. I don't remember it, uh, and I don't know what's happening. It looks like we're taking a look at a bunch of old photos, and uh, Kenny and Noah are cruising around in that pretty cool red Corvette, not Corvette, convertible. Red convertible, I don't know what kind of car it is. I'm not a car guy, but I'm not sure what's happening in the video thus far. Let's see, let's back it up a little bit. Look. Oh boy, look at that paneling. Look at that paneling on that wall. I'm loving that. My mom and dad had that paneling for a long time. That wood paneling. Mm. I'm not sure what's happening here. These people are just chilling out, hanging out on a couch. Are they together? They don't look together. They don't look happy to be there, I don't think. Here's, you know. 
here's my question. Is Kenny old enough to be drinking at this point? Uh, Kenny looks pretty young here, you know? And I mean, he plays, he plays like a, like a 65 year old blues man who's been doing it his entire life. If you didn't know that Kenny was this young and this fresh faced, I, I don't think you could hear it in the music, but I don't know if Kenny is old enough here to be drinking. Are you Kenny? Somebody card that man. Oh, he got coffee. He got coffee. He got coffee. That's all right. I love the words of this song. And, you know, I've read several several interviews with Keeney and uh, the, the the other authors, Mark, Mark Selby, Shelby? Selby and Tia Sellers. And uh, they said that on the day they went to write this, Keeney was wearing a shirt that had blue and black on it. And I think it was Tia said that uh, she thought it was funny because if you put blue in black, it just disappears inside of the blackness. And one of the things I love about the words to this, it is so ambiguous about the meaning of the song. And, you know, Keeney said specifically that that was one of the things he liked about it was that, is it about death? Sure. Is it about the end of a relationship? All right. Sounds good to me. You know, you can read into it whatever you want. I love that about this song. I'm so engrossed in the words, I, I'm not even watching the damn video. See, that's what happens with a song that I know and I love. I start listening to the music and I start forgetting that I'm supposed to be watching the damn video. I am still unsure what's happening here. So Keeney has, has, has bellied up to the bar, but he's gotten a coffee. He's gotten a coffee. I feel like this is a bar where you get a nice beer. I feel like that's what it is. And I don't know, is the girl we saw a minute ago, is she on the television? I... <laughs> Is that what he's watching? What great lyrics, great lyrics. So the, the chorus to this is uh, blue on black, tears on a river, push on a shove, it don't mean much. Joker on jack, match on a fire, cold on ice, it's a dead man's touch. Whisper on a scream, doesn't change a thing, it doesn't bring you back, it's like blue on black. What I love about it is that every one of those lines is about futility. If you think about it, uh, blue on black, well, the blue just disappears. Well, you're wasting your time. Tears on a river, well, they just get lost in the river, right? Push on a shove. You're already shoving. Do they even feel the push? Uh, Joker on Jack. I don't play cards. I don't understand that one. Uh, match on a fire. What does that do? It's already a blazing inferno. You're going to throw a match on it? Feudal. Uh, cold on ice. Same thing. Uh, dead man's touch. Ugh. I, you know, can a dead man touch you? I guess it can. Whisper on a scream. Mmm. Mmm. Doesn't bring you back. It's like blue on black. Great words. Great words. Oh, it's not Noah in the car with him. It's, it's this girl. Is this the girl he was watching on TV a minute ago? They don't look happy. That bums me out. I mean, I guess it goes along with the words of the song. Hmm. I'm unsure if this is even temporal. Are we in the same timeline or is Keeney just imagining this stuff? I'm unsure what's happening. I do not remember this video. Even though I have this song memorized, I do not remember this video. And then we got Eminem back there playing bass.
God damn it, now I'm dancing and listening to the music, not paying attention to the video. Come on, Mark, keep up. All right, is this the bar that Keating was at just a minute ago? I'm unsure if it is. Again, I don't think that we're working chronologically here. I think that's the problem. What a shitty hotel that is. You know it's a bad hotel when they don't give a damn about wires. They just, just throw it up. Shouldn't we maybe pin those back? Somebody might get hurt on that. No, it'll be fine. They don't care about liability, nothing. Look at that room. What a garbage room. That was a pretty good effect. Watch her face as it uh, as it matches the music. I'm a fan of that. Here we go. Oh, here comes Keeney's solo. Hell of a solo. Hell of a solo by Mr. Keeney Wayne Shepard. Fantastic. And, you know, watching this, I'm unsure what's happening because she looks very happy. But again, I'm not sure that we're watching this chronologically. Keeney does not look happy. And then we get flashes of her also looking unhappy. I think it just kind of matches the, the, the lyrics here and that we have these kind of uh, disparate scenes or flashes. I... I See? Look at that. So we get her smiling, and then I'm going to frame it because I guarantee... There we go. And then sad. Smile, sad. Smile, sad. I feel like that we're juxtaposing imagery in the same way they're juxtaposing lyrics. I think that's what's happening. Oh, I love that. He holds that note, and then Noah comes in. That's a creepy, creepy image there of Okini. I don't know if I like that. You know, Kenny's kind of a, a fresh-faced young man. I mean, he's... I think... I don't even know how old that man is now. Is he? It, he's probably older than me. I, I hope... Uh, I don't know how old he is, but uh, he still looks very young. When we saw him in 2014, he still looks very young. Shorter hair, still looks very young. This is creepy. I'm not sure what's happening. Kenny does not look happy. And then we have her watching from the TV screen. Blue on black. On Jack, match on a fire and on nice, it's just a dead man's touch. What is happening? And now they're breaking up on TV? Yeah. Look at that, Keeney singing. That's my favorite blue on black in the whole song right there. Noah kills that, that one. Damn it, Keeney is killing that guitar. I love his playing. I love his playing. Again, it feels like an old man in that young man's body, doesn't it? I wonder if he made a deal at the crossroads. Hmm? And 
then she's painting some. I don't know what she's painting. I'm so lost. And they put the goddamn car. I hate that so much. If anybody from YouTube is watching this, or uh, what's his uh, Warner from Warner Music, what are you doing? Somebody spent a lot of time directing this video, and then you're gonna throw the cards up on top of it. It's bullshit. Ugh, God, that annoys me. But I'm not sure what happened in this video. <laughs> I don't know what happened. I mean, we've got Keenan. He he starts off at a bar, orders coffee. Noah's playing with what looks like a M and M fella, and then we've got Keeney driving around in that that pretty hot car with a, a beautiful woman who 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 at the same time simultaneously looks very happy then miserable. And then at the end, we got somebody slapping paint onto a onto a, a canvas. I don't know what the hell happened in there, you guys. And I know somebody's going to say it's about death. Maybe I don't know. Keeney said that it could be you know a lot of things. So. Boy, I don't know. I don't know on this one. I mean, it's a good video. Great song. Man. And this, when this came out, you know, this was right around the time of New Metal. That stupid Butterfly song. Y'all remember that song? Come up, baby. Come, come up. That awful shit. And then this came out of nowhere. Blues heavy guitar. Hell yeah, I was into it. I was into it. And uh, I don't remember this video at all. Hmm. Well... Hope you enjoyed this one. Hope you're having a good Black Friday. I think that's impossible. I think that's impossible. I think Black Friday is designed to make people feel like shit. You know, and it, you know what it has the effect of doing? It has the effect of turning Thanksgiving into Sunday night. You know what I mean? You know that feeling when on Sunday and you're like, you know what, I'm off today. This is pretty rad, but tomorrow's gonna stink because it's work. That's how Thanksgiving feels now. It's like, you know what, this, this food is great, and I love hanging out with my family and uh, my friends and, and just, uh, you know, having a great time, but tomorrow's going to suck. That's what it's done to Thanksgiving. Fucking Black Friday, dude. All right, well, I hope you had a good time. Let me know in the comments what you think about this video, because I'm flummoxed. I, I don't know what to make of it. Uh, so let me know what you think. Give me a thumbs up, and hey, hit the subscribe button. We're getting a lot of views, and uh, I want to see folks subscribing to the channel and leave us some comments. Man, I love interacting with people. What in the ass just happened? This is the only time. It's Black Friday, and the camera just shut down. <sighs> God almighty. All right. Leave us a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and um, take care of yourselves, folks. And I'll see you soon.